Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. The sheer madness of the collapse of the Silicon Valley Bank in the crime drama Sheer Madness, the audience boats on the identity of the killer. With the death of the Silicon Valley Bank, the pundits are also asking for our votes for the culprit. Silicon Valley Bank. Dead as a doornail on March 10, 2023, the 16th largest bank in the U.S., combined and was taken over by regulators. The collapse resulted from a bank run on deposits. The day before the collapse, customers attempted to withdraw $42 billion about a quarter of the bank's total deposits. Two weeks before after the collapse, the bank received a clean bill of health from its auditor. How can something like this happen? In medieval Europe, the sweat sickness initially wiped out healthy people in a matter of hours. We don't expect large healthy financial institutions to collapse in the same way. How can similar collapses be prevented? Prevention requires planning, which requires knowledge. Who wants the truth if you can have a narrative? At this point, allegations say less about the evidence than about the prosecutor's intentions. He rests a recent list blaming Senator Elizabeth Warren for a rollback in regulatory oversight. Had SBB been subject to the Dodd-Frank rules, which would have been repealed by a 2018 bank deregulation law signed by then-President Trump, the bank would have been required to maintain stricter liquidity and capital requirements, and conduct regular stress tests that SBB requires, would have been prop up its business to weather the kind of stress it experienced last week, under the Relief and Consumer Protection Act, which gave regulators more discretion in applying stress tests to mid-sized banks. Home Depot co-founder Bernie Marcus attributed SBBS collapse to a misguided focus on waking issues, rather than core banking operations. According to Marcus, these banks are mismanaged because everyone is focused on diversity and all the woke issues, and not focused on what they should, which is shareholder returns. Others, more Colombo-esque, 